In every parish in the Dacian, in the Rebel County too, the essential 16th player, the supporters of Cork and Waterford, are gearing up for Sunday, all eyes firmly fixed on the road to Croke Park and bringing home the O'Duffy Cup. At her home in Kilmeaden, 79-year-old Elizabeth Weeshy Barry, herself a former Waterford senior camogie player, can't wait to take her place in the stand for Waterford's first All-Ireland final in 78 years. Wouldn't it be marvellous for, for Waterford camogie to win an All-Ireland? A senior All-Ireland now, do you know what I mean? But they're brilliant, those girls, the skill that they have is unbelievable. And in the city, De La Salle's under-14s have a very special message for the Waterford team. We just want to say very best luck and that you're great idols to look up to. And like we know you can do it, you've trained hard for this. I have a good feeling for Sunday. Uh, I know everyone in Cork is probably saying the same. Uh, but uh, something just tells me I think we have the edge. Some 160 kilometres away, the tiny village of Ballinspittle is awash with red. With two local players on the Cork side chasing its 29th All-Ireland title, that support is priceless. It's just pride when you drive through the village and you see all the posters out with your names and you know that like the people you grew up with or your community are behind you. I think Cork and Run win by maybe four goals. Say four goals. Saoirse McCarthy's mother says her heart will be in her mouth until the final whistle blows. Be proud of themselves because we're proud of them. You know, they're amazing, amazing young women. It's fair to say both sides are already winners, such as their passion and commitment to their county and their colours. Jenny O'Sullivan, RTE News.